first guest has turned in some impressive performances in such films as Dead Poet Society, Reality Bites, and Alive. His new movie, Gattaca, opens tomorrow. Please welcome Ethan Hawke. <laughs> All right. How are you, Ethan? I'm doing pretty good. You know, there's been a little word in the street is that you're really crazy about Red Snapper. Yeah, Mo, I went to this nutritionist, and she told me that I was allergic to everything but Red Snapper. Uh-huh. So I've been having it, like, every night. I'm not a fan of it. You don't like it? No. I like it. You like Red Snapper? Yeah, but it's very curious. I gotta tell you, I come to your show. Yeah? And, uh, first thing that happens is everybody tells me, ask Rosie about Red Snapper. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, now I'm doing it, and I feel very strange about it. Do you? Yeah. Well, well do you enjoy the Red Snapper? I like Red Snapper, yeah. Yeah. How do you cook it? How do you have it? Um, Just broiled, plain? I order it. You order it in? Yeah. That's yeah. the way to do it, yeah. Ethan. Yeah. I had once, you know, uh, Red Snapper Tex-Mex. You put some guacamole. Like a Red Snapper taco kind exactly, of Exactly, yeah, you know? Yeah. I feel if I can disguise the Red Snapper, I'm yeah. doing all right. You put guacamole on anything, and it works. Exactly. That's what I've been doing. Because you try to fit the whole fish into the taco chip, let me tell you, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Yeah, I don't think they're going to have that at Taco Bell anytime no, soon. It's like a mainstay. Now, when you, you had to eat people in the movie alive, worse than Red Snapper, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> a lot worse. Yeah. What did they have? Like chicken on a fake leg bone? You pair it, what, did, what was that actually that you were eating? It was some kind of jerky, you know, and it was, it was very disgusting. It was, even yeah. to pretend, and you knew that it was. Yeah, well. Yeah, I don't really know where to go with this because uh, it was very strange when you have to like stand over, you know, a, a phony carcass. Yeah, dead yeah, body. It's, it's, it's not nice. Peel off a piece the, of the thigh. And... Yeah, the weird thing is we had all the real guys, the, the real survivors. On the uh, set? On the set. Yeah, this is a movie, you know, about these survivors who had to eat their... Yeah, the plane crash. You will saw that movie, right? Yeah. And, um, and they would always, you know, they would invite us all over for dinner. And they would say, <laughs> say, hey, come on over for dinner. Come a half an hour early. We'll baste you. <laughs> they did. Yeah, they would make jokes like that all the time. I guess that's how they survived the trauma of it. Yeah, they just. That must have been a tough shoot, though. When you read that script, you thought up in the mountain in the freezing cold. For how many weeks was it? Yeah, I really wanted to get a job. Oh, you, you know, did. I really <laughs> wasn't, you know, uh, go anywhere. Yeah, nothing, nothing uh, scared you about it, because I, I saw the movie and I thought that must have been the most difficult shoot ever. We had to take a helicopter up to a glacier every yeah. morning, uh, and. You know, sometimes if the wind would get too bad, we have to spend the night up on top of the glacier, and it was crazy. You know, they really did have us up on top of this huge uh, mountain up in the Canadian Rockies uh, with this dropped, crash plane in, in the middle of nowhere. And what, you guys all got very skinny during the movie. Did, did, did they? Yeah, try they put to... us on an 1,100 calorie a day diet, which was really like, this was a nightmare. That's just it was, it was a, about that's 50 guys. I know. 1,100 yeah, calories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a mid-morning snack. It was about 50 guys, and they all got crazy. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah. You know, it was taking our little juice, and everybody would fight over it and bicker over it. That must have been tough. Yeah. The new movie looks a little bit easier. You got the beautiful Uma Thurman there. Yeah. Uma and Thurman was not on the mountain in a lot. She was not, tell you, no. It would change the whole setup. Would have made a yeah. whole better movie right yeah. there. <laughs> now, I just thought of a really bad joke. I'll tell you at the commercial. <laughs> it wasn't a bad joke. It was too sexual in connotation. Yeah. I kind of could see you where went you there. Might All go, right, yeah. stop. Ethan, look at me. Blushing. <laughs> Blushing a little bit. Okay. Uh, the new film, Gattaca, that opens tomorrow all over the country. Uh, I've seen the billboards look amazing. All that, you know, you can sort of choose. The child. It's about sort of in the future, genetic choosing of the birth of. Yeah, that's what it's about. I mean, it's all about a new class system based on whether or not you can afford to have your genes engineered. You know, like you can choose your child. Right. And so, from the moment you're born, people know how far you can succeed and how far you can't. You know, if you're prone to, you know, some kind of heart condition, let's say, then they're not going to put you in any kind of position of authority because you might they might lose you. Right. So from the moment you're born you know exactly how far you might go. And it's also a corporate-run society. It's not uh, run by a government. It's like everything is owned by you know, NBC or whatever right. it is. Right, and there's a murder, and you are accused of the murder. Yeah, but I didn't do it. You didn't do it. But the trouble is, I'm not supposed to be where I was to begin with. See, well, why they think I did it is because I dropped an eyelash, and they can discover who you are by any part of your body. And so I was in an area that I'm not supposed to be in. 
You know, those very eyelashes, complicated. those eyelashes get in the way. All the time. Then you fall in love with Uma Thurman, who's in a different class because she's perfection. I wonder how they cast her. Hmm. Perfection? Let's get Uma. Um, she is sort of the perfect looking person. She's gorgeous. This is you and her in the film Gattaca, which opens tomorrow. And I think that's enough of a setup, don't you think? I think so. Okay, yeah. take a look, Ethan Hawke. It looks wonderful in the movie. I'm definitely going to see it this weekend. Now, would it be true the first movie that we all came to know you in was Dead Poets Society, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That was, were you, you were in school and you auditioned and got it? No, I was in the, I'd just gone to college and I was so miserable in college that I was trying to look for any way I could to get out. And, uh, Where'd you go to college? Carnegie Mellon. I went to Boston University. I didn't like it either. Yeah. It's I not great, out. but it was, you dropped out too? Yeah. I started doing stand-up. Yeah, well, I went to Dead Poets Society. And, See? You start yeah. doing movies a little exactly. better. Well, I was at Vinny's Yuck Yuck Palace for $40. <laughs> you know, and is this thing on? Yeah, they need a burger at table four. Anyway, my father's front me. I was hot. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, so I went down and I auditioned for this movie and I got it. And, um, you know, I got to work with Robin Williams. Have you ever had Robin Williams on the show? Never. I never really met him. You haven't Just met him? Just in passing one Seems time. Seems like you would have him on the show. I would love to have him on I mean, anytime he wants. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, he has a new movie coming out soon, right, Hillary? Maybe we'll get him here for that. He's delightful. He'll be walking all around everywhere. Exactly. It'll be a free-for-all, yeah, which I love. He's like a genius. And you, an author as well. Your, your, movie, uh, come, your movie, your book that you wrote, which is an amazing accomplishment to begin with, comes out in paperback November 1st. Yeah. Congratulations on that. You're going to write another one, I hear. I hope so. Good for you, Ethan. You're a delightful young man. Thank you. You're a delightful young woman. <laughs> well, thank you, Ethan. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. We'll be right back with Annie Potts. Don't go away.